Is your name Ruben? Hello Sycamore, happy Wednesday. I'm glad that our high school building is okay and they were able to put out the fire yesterday. Today is March 15, 2023 and welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Leland. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. The fire? Yes, the high school was evacuated at the end of the day yesterday because when construction started, demolitioning the old pool, a fire happened. Oh, okay. Thank goodness everyone is okay. And hello, I'm Kyer. We're so excited to be here with you on today's daily video announcements. Now please, stand. Raise your hand over our heart and honor this amazing country as you say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all and please be seated. Remember, check your work and school emails throughout the day. Be PBIS, responsible young adults. Be safe, be respectful, and be positive problem solver. Flex Bell's participating in Noah McGandy's Pencil Processing Challenge. Make sure to register your two best player player scores in the form this week. Time to mark your calendars and check for school events. Show your support and wear your favorite team gear tomorrow, Thursday, March 15th, to show support for your favorite March Madness basketball playoff team. Over to Sam for our upcoming Stuco March Madness Pop Tap Contest information and bracket reveal. Hello SJH, my name is Sam Brochman and I am a student council representative. What am I on announcements for? Our annual SJH NCAA style Pop Tap Tournament. So who does this include? This includes all Flex Belt classes. And why are we doing it? It's an easy way to support the Ronald McDonald House, a place that provides 78 guest rooms every night for parents of critically ill children at Cincinnati's Children's Hospital. Why else? It's in, two th in 2014, Sycamore Junior High was the top provider of pop tabs in Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana. Let's earn that title again. What you need to know. All pop tabs should be collected in a gallon bag measurements. We will be collecting them every Wednesday. Once you've been eliminated, your class still plays an important role in this tournament. Classes have not eliminated may beg eliminated classes to donate their tabs to them. We call this the Tanaka Take. Be creative in how you beg. Have fun with this element of the tournament. Once tabs have been donated, they cannot be returned to any of the original classes. Top eight may receive a special prize. So. Keep those pop tabs coming in and let's support the Ronald McDonald House. Alright, start collecting those pop tabs, people. May the best Flex Bell team win. Yes, wear your favorite team jersey tomorrow and collect those pop tabs. An update for tonight. Sadly, the Fine Arts Choir concert has been postponed until after spring break. But, did you know that only tomorrow remains in the third quarter? Finish strong, study for tests, and get all your work in. March 17th, we have no school. But it is a student personalized learning day, so we still have to do our work. Please note that the SJH yearbook ordering deadline for 2022 and 2023 has been extended to March 17th. That means you have up until this Friday before spring break to order a book of our fun memories. Spring break officially runs from March 20th through the 24th. When we return, we have air testing approaching a couple weeks from the following spring break. Ah, <sighs> so sad. Our first testing week will begin the week of April 11th, my birthday, with ELA air testing on April 11th and 12th. Now, we have today's Women History Month star. Today's History Month recognition is Malala. Malala was born July 12th, 1997. She was a Pakistani female education activist and won the 2014 Nobel Peace Prize. She is the world's youngest Nobel Prize winner and the second Pakistani and the first Pashtun to receive a Nobel Prize. Malala became an international symbol of the fight for girls' education after she was shot in 2012 for opposing Taliban restrictions of female education in her home country, Pakistan. Malala helped empower many girls, not just in Pakistan. She spoke out about what she believed in and made a huge difference for girls around the world. Thank you. Wow, thank you. Next up, did you know? A cat spends most of its life sleeping. Really? What's the point of that? Next up, 
National Day. Today is National Kansas Day. Jeez. Bro. On March 15th, National Kansas Day recognizes the Sunflower State. Magnificent herds of bison, elk, mule, deer, and antelope roam the vast open plains. Populated by the Cherokee, Osage, Pawnee, and many other tribes. The region became a part of the United States with the Louisiana Purchase in 1803. Mm, that's pretty interesting. Next up, let's hear birthdays. Happy birthday to Dylan Hunt and staff members, Mrs. Carter. Have a great and wonderful birthday. Now, over to some special clubs and activity announcements. Partners Club will be on Wednesday, March 15th until 4 p.m. in the Media Center. That's today. We have lots of fun games planned in addition to our usual delicious snack. I might go there. We will also be revealing the location of our super fun field trip happening in April, my birthday, as well as passing out permission slips. If you cannot attend the meeting, please see Miss Serbless in room 103 to get a permission slip. Now it's time for the joke of the day. Why is Peter Pan always flying? Ah, uh, I have no clue. Why? Because he never lands. <laughs> ha 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 ha! Oh, that's hysterical. <laughs> Be extraordinary, Sycamore, and follow PBIS expectations every day. Have a wonderful week, and see you in our favorite team jerseys tomorrow. And go Waves! <laughs>